just a quick little update on what I'm doing here. I'm uh, cutting in these miters for the for these uh, side pieces here. And what I've elected to do, rather than trying to make this edge and that miter there match up perfectly, what I've decided to do is I'm going to pull that back just a little bit of a recess there so that I can close that joint up nice and evenly and make it look decent without trying to expose this corner and this edge and trying to make them meet just perfectly because if I break that edge a little bit it's going to make it look funky so because I am going to use both dominoes and pocket hole screws on that and with pocket holes if you don't really tie it down it has a tendency to try to move. I cut the angle on this just a couple degrees greater than the 45 degree miter so that I know that when I tighten this up it's going to close up that edge nice and tight along this edge there so it'll close that up nice and nice and clean like you know one of the beauties of working with a domino remember I just said I had a gap here well when I run this I make I usually make the slots wider than the actual domino so that gives me some lateral adjustment so what I just did was realize that I could tap that over and bam look at that awesome well there's the dry fit I still got to do a little mudding and taping behind it there but everything looks like it's gonna fit up just nicely don't have any unnecessary gaps front area looks pretty good I need to go in there and do some sanding and start the finishing process but I think the missus is gonna like it So, well, it's not completely done. I'm just going to wrap this uh, little video series up. But that's pretty much it uh, as, it's, as it's going to look, minus the scroll saw work that's going to go in the front. I am playing around with this little barrier here because we're thinking that we'd like to kind of hide those legs. So I'm kind of playing around with some different ideas, something to follow the general shape of this to go back and just sort of block the legs so it looks a little cleaner. One of the things I did find out and I had to contend with, I glued down this piece of uh, oak veneer plywood. There's really no good place to clamp it other than along the front edge. I just used my brad nailer to try to hold it down and put a bunch of weight on it. Well, I put way too much glue on there. Developed a hump midway through those center supports through the back. Thing rocked back and forth. So I spent about 20 trips in and out of the shop trying to match that contour in there with a small, my block plane and all that just to try to hollow that out and make it fit. I probably could have put some little rubber bumpers under here to raise it up enough to compensate, but I really wanted it to sit a little bit tighter to the top. Amazingly enough, it's still level, so that's all good. And if you can tell by the sound of my voice, I have a cold. I found the pattern I liked for the uh, scroll saw front, decorative front and I started cutting that out last night. This is my first real run using a scroll saw in this manner, so um, yeah. It, it's not turning out too bad, thank goodness, for a lot of uh, scroll saw videos on YouTube because uh, I've learned a lot and tried to take those lessons to heart. However, there's nothing like doing it and I need to set my scroll saw up a little bit better. So that's a pattern. That's one panel. This will be the other one. They'll be identical patterns. As the seasons go, we can change these out and, you know, 
Christmas and Thanksgiving and whatever. As far as how I'm going to fasten it to the front, I haven't really determined how I'm going to do that yet. I'll figure that out as it goes. That pretty much wraps this thing up as far as what's worthy YouTube content. If, but I just thought I would uh, kind of show you where it's at, where it ended up. It was, it was pretty fun to do. Had a few challenges and I learned a few things. So that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later. Thank you.